Hi there, welcome to my studio. Thank you for checking out this video. My name is Siobhan. On this channel, I share videos about dynamic and expressive approaches to drawing the figure. So if you want to improve your figure drawing or if you want to develop a more natural, expressive style of drawing through figure drawing, then stay tuned and consider subscribing so that we can stay in touch. Today, I wanted to share my process for drawing a couple of two minute gesture drawings. These are very short poses. Um, you might be familiar with these kinds of poses at the start of a live drawing session, but I thought it would be interesting to share the process with you, especially if you're working at home in your sketchbook and doing figure drawing on your own. I want to give you three tips that I think are really important to think about or to try and achieve in your gesture drawings. So what I'm gonna do is show the reference image and the timer and try to break down the way that I capture the pose in as short a time frame as one minute or two minutes. If you don't know what the reason is behind doing these very short poses, then I have another video that explains in much more detail why we work with such short time limits and what the point is really of doing drawings like this. So I'll share that link and you can check that video out if you want some more information. But as I said in this video, I want to go over three tips that I think are most important to try and think about or to keep in mind. So here's the video. I hope you enjoy it. I'll check back in with you at the end. Both of these poses are taken from lineofaction.com. So go and check that website out. It's a great online resource for figure, for figure drawing students. Tons of poses to draw. I will say I usually spend a lot of time at the start of any drawing session, like flipping through the images to try and find a good pose to draw. My first tip when you're doing gesture drawing is to try as quickly as possible to get the whole pose down in one go on your page. So this to me is really the key to gesture drawing, to identify or to see the figure as one unit and to try and get that impression of that whole unit down on the page. Obviously, the easiest way to do that is with something like a line of action, but the line of action doesn't have to correlate to the figure for the whole drawing, you know, you can use it just as a starting point. So at this stage, I'm already working back up from the bottom of the drawing to the top and looking to describe that volume or that twist through my line work. I often use a circular motion in my line work or round circular marks to also try and describe the whole pose. My second tip is that another good thing to do, which I always try and encourage people, is to draw through the forms and to avoid drawing the outlines or avoid drawing the figure as a silhouette. A lot of times beginner drawing students will use a gesture line but use it just to draw what they see as the outline. And I recommend that you try and follow lines that go through the body, as well as lines that go around the edges. When you're drawing lines that go through, you can obviously sometimes see skeletal shapes or muscle shapes, but you can also draw the direction of like the arms or the legs. You know, that's another good way to draw through lines. That goes a long way to describing weight and uh, volume as well. Right, so on this drawing, that's two minutes done. And this drawing is pretty much like, that's the most that needs to be said in a gesture study like this one. This two minutes is up. So I'm gonna move on to the second drawing. And my third tip is to remember that for short gesture poses, try to think of this way of drawing as capturing movement. The body is built for movement, built for motion, and really, if you think about it, every part of the figure connects into the whole with the purpose of moving. So if you can capture movement through your line work, I think you can go, that goes a long way to adding life and energy to your drawing, instead of just making it like a static rendering or a flash image. So think about movement in your lines. 
even if the model is static or the pose or reference image that you're looking at obviously is not moving, especially if it's a photo, you can still spot tension and balance and dynamic qualities like that. And these all point towards the way that forms are built to move. So trying to understand that movement through the figure, through your line work is key to gesture drawing. Another thing to point out is that I normally don't set the timer for myself, but I think it is quite a good idea every now and again to put a time limit on your drawing, especially if you're practicing gesture drawing. Because gesture is all about an economical, direct response to what you see, uh, putting a time limit on it can really help you to you know, hone that response or hone that expression. So I hope this was helpful to trying to get a new or an understanding of gesture drawing, especially when you're drawing short one minute or two minute poses. These short gesture poses are so important to your overall figure drawing practice. They really help you to kind of understand your observation and your mark making. So I'd encourage you to practice these short gesture drawing as much as you can. Let me know below in the comments what you think about this. If you've got anything to add to an approach to gesture drawing, um, what is your biggest challenge when it comes to these short poses? I'd love to hear from you. Thanks so much for watching and if you haven't already, consider subscribing to the channel and I'll look out for you in the next video.